So I've just got to tell you all about my trip to Myrtle Beach. Well, one of my daughters, Vera Jean, had called me up and she said, Now, Mama, we don't get to do nothing together no more. I'm going to take you down to Myrtle Beach for a George Strait concert. They got it going on down there. And, you know, she knows that's my favorite. Ugh, the things I do to that man. Don't look at me like that. I'm old. I ain't dead. Well, anyways, we get almost there and she says, Now, Mama, I've met this fella named Richard. See, my daughter's addicted to these um, Tinder applications and the Match.coms and all that. Well, that's where she had met him. So we get there and checked into the motel, and she says, Now, Mama Richard's going to be here shortly. So I took that as my cue to leave um, so she could have her meeting with this Richard. Well, I put on my cute little bathing suit I had bought. It had this little skirt, you know, to hide my cellulite. Well, I get to the beach, and there's this little girl there riding this, this teeny tiny little surfboard. She called it a boogie board. And she said, would you like to ride it? And I thought, well, yeah, that'll be fun, you know. So I'm riding this boogie board in down the waves. And, you know, the beach is real crowded. Well, this feller steps on my skirt. So I go one way and my skirt goes the other. So here I am, naked from the waist down, cooter hanging out. When this little boy comes up and he says, ma'am, I think this might be yours. And it's my, my skirt. And I said, well, you know, son, I believe you're right. So I put my skirt on, went back home, had us a good time. And the next day's concert day. Very excited when we get to see my man. Well, we get all dolled up, prettied up our hair, and we get to the beach where this concert's going to be, and we get us an ice cream cone. And we're walking up and down the beach for what seems like forever. Thank goodness we was on some sand. My feet were killing me. Forgot to wear my corn pads. Should have known better. Well, we kept walking, and I was like, well, I don't hear no music, Vera Jean, so... I flagged down this, this little feller, and I said, Now, I'm looking for the George Strait concert. That's what we came here for. And he said, Well, it's probably down at the pavilion. You know, they have all them shows down there. He said, Just keep walking. You'll run right into it. I said, Okay. Walked a little bit farther and, and ended up, you know, I saw this pavilion, but there was no lights or music. So I looked at Vera Jean, and I said, Are you sure the concert's tonight? And she said, Yes, Mama. I checked. So... My daughter, Buffy Jane, had given me this smartphone, you know, and I talked to the Google and asked it about the concert, and y'all, we was six months late to this concert. Oh, I was so tore up, I done missed my chance to see old George Strait. Well, anyways, we get back, you know, in the car, and we're driving back to the motel. We're going to go have us a little girls' night, and we get on one of these, these loop-de-loop -loop things, you know, like um, them them off ramps, you know, that looks like a pretzel kind of thing. So we're going round and round we go, and I, I'm thinking, this thing is taking forever. I've never been on so many in a row before. And then about the third time I seen the same billboard, I said, now, Vera Jean, we've seen that sign before. And she said, no, Mama, this is a popular place that, you know, there are all kinds of billboards for that place. And I was like, well, maybe. So I looked at the, the GPS system that we had brought, one of them uh, them Tom Toms, and y'all, we had been on that same loop-de-loop -loop for a good nine, ten minutes, just going round and round and round, because what happened was Vera Jean was looking at the gray line, you know, you got to follow the blue line. So it took us a little while, but we finally get back to the motel, have us a good little girl's night. Well, the next day's time to go home. So we're, we're on our way home, we hit about Nashville, and we get off on the exit to come home, and... What we're traveling, we're about an hour into it and from Nashville, and we was, you know, talking and stuff, and I started seeing these signs for towns that I had never even heard of, and I said, now, Vera Jean, are we going the right way? Well, we ended up looking at the, the GPS system. <laughs> Y'all, we had been driving an hour in the wrong direction. So we had to come all the way back to Nashville and head on home that way. That was the longest trip, biggest disappointment. So I was telling my daughter, you know, Buffy Jane about it. And she said, well, Mama, you know, since you had such a bad trip, I'm going to take you over to McDonald's. And she said, now, Mama, pick you out five things from the dollar menu. That was a little bit better than missing out on George Strait. But I just wanted to share that with y'all and tell y'all, you know, if you're going somewhere with your kids, always double check where they're taking you. Because you just never know. You might think you're going to George Strait, and you might just end up walking on the beach. Which sounds good, but it ain't no George Strait concert.